Welcome back guys, back to another laundry video. I'm back with some quality content for you. These two lovely machines. Uh, Mike, we've, got a bit, we've actually got quite a bit of YouTube revenue recently, so we've got a new camera girl. Mike, say hi. Hi. Uh, block block out his face. Block out his face. You don't want him uh, yeah. to just find out. But yeah, today, we've got some quality content. Here are two new machines. We all know fuel prices are going up, so we've got two beautiful diesels for you today to watch. But let's go and have a look. As you can see, we got a lovely PD TDI, basically the Golf engine, same thing. And well, it's got 180,000 hard miles on it. But you know, she goes all right. She uh, turbos a little bit um, <coughs> bad, but you know, we can we can deal with that. Here we can see the, the only bit of service history is the brakes were fucked back in 2016. But you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, the, the cars are, it's cheap. You know, these cars, 800 quid each, you know, what can you get for that? That phone was more expensive. So, uh, Andy's mug for that. Cheers. Right, so if you come in here, we can have a look at, look at these. So these are Bridgestone's finest uh, racing slicks. You can't really get these on many models. Luckily, they do it for these because this is the, uh, the TDI. Uh, they're actually Bridgestones spelt wrong because, you know, they're actually fake. But, you know, that's, that's something we can deal with for the price of the car. Um, this obviously isn't normal, but, you know, what can you expect? The paint is original. This is a factory finish that they don't offer on many models anymore. More of a 2004 thing. So these are the doors. Um, it's got four of them, plus the boot, that's five. And the good thing about this is actually more doors than any supercar you'd ever find. So, you know, if you think about it, it's actually probably better value and uh, they open as well which is nice uh, this car's actually got folding mirrors we'll find out if they work they don't <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, worry about, don't worry about that that's all right right it's so got a manual in here perfect or automatic nice leather steering wheel and a uh, a good horn, perfect for when you want to get someone out of the way. Good radio. Quality. Right, uh, and what else can I show you? Nothing, except from the cup holder. Let's have a good old look at this one. Let's move on to the back. Um, paint job, pretty good. You got a nice water effect on here where you can actually move the paint around and get different shades of colour on it. I mean, I don't know who else offers that, but... Good. Good job. So that's the boot. Let's see how much boot room we got. How much have you even got? Ignore, ignore the stuff, alright? Ignore that. We've got a good amount of stuff. I can actually get in there. Whoa! Eek. Oh, so much shut that down. Cheers. Ugh. We're good. Right, so we're going to move on to the Skoda now. It's basically that, but bigger and a little bit older. So I think the first thing we'll do is start at the front, shall we? Just, uh, uh, yeah, um, good feature actually. So this car is great for if you want to knock <laughs> a few things around in the car park. You know, it's taken a few hits before. You can see the bumper is ruined in a way, but it's taken it well. And a uh, small bear fight broke out as well. But uh, that's the only scratch we had. The good thing about these, well, you got the plastic trim, which uh, you know takes a hit very well. The the only thing is, I like said, just the only. All right. So the only thing is, um, please uh, ignore that. Is some of the bodywork does come off, but you know, you gotta leave it. You know, you just gotta respect it. This paint isn't original. This is actually an aftermarket thing. Happens over time. You know, I'm not really sure how to get rid of it. But it's there, you can see where people have gotten in and out. There's a feature to tell you people have been getting in and out. Good thing is this model comes with brakes as well, some of them didn't. Doors also work, this door doesn't work sometimes. Uh, you know, that's a, a Skoda feature. Inside we've got seats, which is good. A radio, which is uh, optional extra. It's, it's also turboed this one, so it's always a handy feature. Um, I'll end it there because I've run out of things to say. So you may have heard the saying, four doors for more whores. Uh, this doesn't apply in this case because it's an estate and it's a Skoda. But you know, you can get things in it. And as you can see, if we come around to the rear of the car, it's a GTI by the way, is you can get a lot of stuff in there. And in fact, I think even Andy could get in here. 
Alright, let's try this. So, uh, let's just see, yeah, you know, right, cool. with everything in there. Yeah, 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 we'll get it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, as you can see, again, tools, you can get your, your yeah. average, average human. Uh, that's, a, that's a super prop shaft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can even put it down, you know, there you go. And, you know, obviously that is um, an optional extra to keep the half of the window clean. I don't actually bother, you know, either way, because I don't know why that's in there. <laughs> So we're gonna give it a bit of a, a road test now and let's just see what first get oh whoa can't move my seat I think we need to do the hundred dollar challenge in this boys ah oh, let's test the brakes <laughs> <laughs> 